um, this is the um, uh, weekly readings for the Capricorns. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back, Capricorns. Um, this um, this um, this month, I am saying to you guys, this week is the week of uh, um, health for you, you and leaf there. This new leaf that come in for you, um, for you Capricorn, whatever the issue and the situation is, um, my apologize for my apologies for last week. I was unable um, to be here last week. <sighs> Capricorns, 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 Capricorns. Um, this week is from the 3rd until the 9th of August. Um, for the people who are um, a member of my channel, your um, extended readings are all out. Um, you guys, um, you're going to be having your monthly reading a little bit because if you notice, I'm not online. I want to say thank you to all the Capricorns that reach out um, to, you know, find out how I was doing because you haven't seen me online. I want to say thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but I want to advise each and every one of you Capricorns. Um, in order to be a Capricorn, that means that you're on your last life part for some of you. And uh, not all of you, for some of you. And what is happening and what is transpiring, ladies and gentlemen, is that uh, um, you're going to be finding out that there is so much evil on this planet. And I'm sure that a whole lot of you Capricorns is aware of that. I'm going to advise you Capricorns to be on your P's and Q's, um, especially in this timeline. We are kind of in a void. We're moving out of the three dimension into the four dimension and moving on to the five dimension. For most of the people who followed me, or it's going to be going to fourth and fifth dimension. Not, um, yeah, most of the people who find me and follow me, especially people who have done a reading with me, um, is going to be moving in fourth and fifth dimension. Capricorns, you got to be aware of people around you, friends around you. Um, be aware of people and your friends, okay? And um, your best friend is your worst enemy, okay? And as a Capricorn, you have to be aware that people just get up and hate Capricorns because Capricorns have a, a different sort of a feel to the world, okay? Capricorns look at the world really really differently and people are always jealous of capricorns so you gotta be aware so um let's look at this um reading and let's see what is transpiring so new love is here for you capricorns i see especially mothers um a lot of love some of you could be getting pregnant if that was what you want some of you are definitely going to be getting pregnant. Then we see the energy of the Empress and the Eight of Cups. The energy, on the, uh, uh, energy of the Empress and the Eight of Cups, and this is going to be a beautiful week for you. Um, Capricorns, if you notice, the Ten of Pentacles, it's all about money in this week. And it says, if, uh, um, if you want to buy um, a scratch-off or that sort of a thing, go buy it. There is the energy of the dice. It's like taking a risk because you will win some money. Do not take my advice because maybe it is not your time. But as you notice, the energy of the dice over the other side with the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles and you have the Eight of Pentacles. So um, that is here with the energy of the Magician. So um, the Tower moment is in reverse and that is good. That is on Wednesday. Some unexpected um, news. We're going to be looking at that and then we see the energy of uh, the ace of uh, pentacles now the, the ace of pentacles is about a new start so some of you a new love could have come in your life um or a new love is coming in and it's a pisces whoever this person is is a pisces i see that you and a pisces could have a new start 
I see that this new start is going to be very magical and you and the Spices is going to be creating a lot of wealth together. So let's say that you were seeing a Pisces um, um, or because this is new love is coming in and you can see that the new love is going to be a Pisces or a water sign person for a lot of you. Now, this is a very strong, stable week. If you're looking for a job, if you want a promotion, if you want salary increase, ask for it in this week. The energy of the dice is that is a risk. If you don't ask, you won't receive it. But there is also eye of wisdom and someone is coming in. Um, and this person is going to be a soul mate and it is definitely a soul mate or a twin flame. And if you notice the dice, I of wisdom and the two um, dove together with a heart is a soulmate or a twin flame. And you see the energy of new love is coming in. Whoever this person is, was meant to be in your life and was meant to connect with you at this time. So it could be some of you getting pregnant. Some of you could be delivering a baby. However, it is happening. Um, a lot of love is going to be coming to you. I see the energy of an offer is going to be also here. Um, so um, an offer of love and whoever this person is, is coming in with eye of wisdom. So um, be aware of whoever is coming in and whatever is transpired because this person is going to be coming in. Um, it is a soulmate or a twin flame. This person was sent from the universe towards you. So this is wonderful. And whatever is happening with this person and yourself, it was meant to be, so go for it. Now, we're going to be looking at the energy of the Empress. If some of you wanted a new start, this new start is going to be coming in. Um, Some of you could be having a new start with your mother. Some of you, if your mother wasn't well, I see that this is going to, she's going to overcome it. As some of you, your business is going to be um moving forward okay so it's as if your your business is going to be having some sort of a huge um push that is going forward a lot of you are going to be getting pregnant especially in this week or in this month and a lot of you could be having babies okay wow okay okay ladies and gentlemen bam 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 so success is going to be here for you if you are in a relationship with a Pisces, if you are married or in a relationship with a Pisces, you and a Pisces is going to be very, very successful. If you uh, meet a Pisces, I see that this is going to be a very, 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 um, this is going to be a very, very, very good relationship that is coming in, Okay. I see money is going to be returned to some of you, whatever that was happening and transpiring. A Pisces have to pay some of you a whole lot of money, whoever this person is. Some of you are going to be definitely meeting a Pisces. Whoever this Pisces is, you're definitely going to be meeting this Pisces. And you are definitely, definitely going to be um, receiving a whole lot of money, okay? Your burdens is going to be over, whatever is happening and, and transpiring. Definitely your burdens is going to be over. Um, there is no question. I see people are going to be working and collaborating together with you in order um, to create some form of wealth um, in your life. Some form of wealth in your life. So um, be aware of this. Whatever is happening and transpiring, be aware of this. I see um, love is going to be offered to you because I see people are going to be um, reconnecting with you, connecting with you, and um, love is going to be offered to you. I see news um, that someone wants to return in your life. It's going to be coming up. Um, uh, it could be a child, and this is what I'm saying to a lot of you. Some of you are going to get pregnant, or you, some of you are going to be receiving some form of um, uh, having a baby. Some of you could have a caesarean, the magician, um, a caesarean. Some of you could definitely have in a caesarean in this week. I see a whole lot of news is going to be coming to you. So um, if you have children, it could be that... Um, your kids, whatever is happening and transpiring, 
um, a whole lot of news about collaboration. A whole of the news is coming in that people are going to be wanting to work with you. Whoever this person is, I see that you overcome some form of deceptiveness that this person was trying, trying to create. This person was an Aries that tried to create a lot of um, deceptiveness. I see that you got, you're going to be stabbed in the back by a Gemini with a whole lot of money. This Gemini is really greedy. Okay. So whoever is dealing with a Gemini and a whole lot of money, you're going to be stabbed in the back. But it's as if people are going to be seeing that this Gemini is very deceptive. Okay, so people are definitely going to be seeing that this Gemini is very deceptive. Your worries is going to be over. So um, some of you are like taking a gamble, whatever is happening and transpiring. Some of you are like taking a gamble in this week. Um, and I think that um, you should, whatever is happening and transpire, um, you should. However, this issue and the situation is happening. Um, some of you just buy um, a scratch off. By a scratch off. Love is in this week for you. Some of you, you're going to be meeting the love of your life in this week. Whatever is happening and transpiring, a lot of you are going to be meeting the love of your life in this week. So let's look at this. So what we're seeing with the energy of the Empress, um, if you have a um, business, if you want to get pregnant, um, some of you could be also having a baby. Um, this is going to be good. Some of you had some... Um, um, it's as if some of you had some regret, some of you, um, a Pisces wants to start over with you, or some of you are bringing some burdens that a Pisces have created in the past. This burden is going to be over. It doesn't have to be a Pisces. It's coming up as some burdens that someone had created in the past. So I see that this is going to be over and uh, there is going to be coming. People are going to be coming in, in order to help you to create and heal a situation and create a and, and situation because people are going to be working with you in order to um, receive and get back some money then we see the energy of the nine of uh, um, the the new start to your financial stability this is going to be um, very very good whatever is transpiring truth is going to be coming out about a whole lot of money um, that was stolen from you okay this is like a whole lot of money that was stolen from you and this is about a whole lot of lies and deceptiveness um, that was created and a whole lot of money that was stolen from you is going to be returned to you because it's going to be coming back to you because they have investigated the lies and deceptiveness of these people and who have taken the money. And um, it's as if some of you are going to be helping people to regain a whole lot of money and some of you are going to be finding out uh, that there was some form of deceptiveness with a whole lot of money that was stolen from you. And I see people are investigating this and seeing the truth. So your financial stability. And if you have a business, I see this business is going to be picking up. If you choose to start to work for yourself, this business is going to be picking up. Um, whatever burdens that there was with your business or your financial situation, this is going to be out because people are finding out that a young cancer, whoever this cancer is, work together with a Gemini and an older woman, an older Aries woman or an older woman, Sagittarian or Aries woman to steal a lot of money. And I see um, that they're going to be calling out on these people and these people are going to be catch. If some of you were worried about money, for um yourself worried worried about money for yourself or worried about money um to send back your kids to school and that sort of a thing um do not worry because it's going to be coming in i need to advise you people of something if you notice a offer is going to be coming in and some of you this woman is going to be appearing as if it's a love partner um capricorns fire sign people are not your love partner okay whatever is transpiring whatever is happening i can tell you this no fire sign person is your love partner not even your soulmate or your twin flame okay um fire goes with air and her goes with water if you are a cups and you're a cups on a fire sign then it is so whenever and whoever this person is that is coming in to offer you 
a what form of love it is because she was caught doing something and she has to pay back some sort of a money um that she could have lent stolen and i see they came down on her she is connected to a cancer person and they realize the lies and deceptiveness of this woman who is a sagittarius or a aries so, so some of you it could be a mother okay and some of you are going to be finding out about some deceptive play with, with your mother and a whole lot of money. So I see some of you have turned your back in the past, okay, on a love. And I see some of you are finding out that now you're pregnant. It's as if all of a sudden you're pregnant and you're finding out that you are seeing someone. All of a sudden you're pregnant for this person. This person stabbed you in the back because this person has stolen a lot of money from you. Um and or borrowed a lot of money, you never got the money back. Now you find out you're pregnant for this person. What are you going to do? Are you keep, going to keep the child or you're going to get rid of the child? It is, uh, I would say, keep the child. Um, if you were raped, keep the child. Um, there's always a blessing the reason why. Um, some of you, um, truth is going to be coming out that a Sagittarian woman have stolen a lot of money from you and they're coming down on this Sagittarian woman. Whoever the Sagittarian woman is has worked with um, a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion in order to steal a lot of money from you and they're coming down on this person because they found out the lies and deception that this Sagittarian woman was either connected as family member with that man, okay? So it could be a man or a woman. It's coming up with a man or a woman that these two have lied and stolen a lot of money from you. And I see truths are now coming out about how much money. And I see they are going to be, and, and you know, this is a situation where some of you, it could have been um, a whole lover. Some of you, it could be um, your husband and his mother. Um, whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring, I, I, you know, let it go, let it go because I see they're going to be, um, resolving this issue and make sure that you, um, the money is returned. So if you notice, you're going to be receiving some news that some money that was stolen here because they found out that it have to do with this uh, lady. The truth came out about this lady. She's in reverse and it is coming up as a Sagittarian lady and some of it is coming up as an, an, um, an Aries lady, okay? Um, some of you, it could be a mother. It could be a family member, okay? Because the, the energy of uh, the, the soulmate. And I see that they're going to be offering you an apologize to you for what has transpired. Now, um... You know, sometimes, especially Capricorn is, best, is very specific over things that they believe and what they can see and what they cannot see. Take a risk and ask for higher wisdom, okay? Take a risk, ask for higher wisdom. If your question is about um, opening up your life to someone, it is a yes. You need to work on your love life in this week. So if it is like, you know, should I really let this person back in my life or should I really um, um, open up my heart to this person if this person has been good, okay? Not someone who has been good but is yet still coming back to you um, for money and always uh, want money and want this from you. No, we're talking about someone who is very honest and upright, okay? I got to go enjoy the new love that is coming in your life and, um, um, you know, take the risk um, on finding inner wisdom in your life. Just take the risk in order to find inner wisdom in your life. Okay. I got to go. Namaste.